Welcome to registering your ISONUS Pure Access Cloud license. My name is John Dalrymple, and I'm the Electronics Training Manager at Allegion. Pure Access Cloud is a cloud-based access control solution that's scalable through its modular licensing subscription model, and so it's suitable for facilities across a wide range of vertical markets. It is a panel-less system. By that, we mean that there are no access control panels to connect the readers and locks and the other peripherals to. The readers and the Schlage locks contain their own controllers, and they are connected to the software through the building's IT network. In this video, we're going to focus on the purchase and registration process that an ISONUS integrator will experience. Other videos will focus on the integration of Schlage RC series readers and controllers and the NDE and LE series electronic locks. We'll start with a broad overview of the Pure Access Cloud environment. A tenant is simply a collection of access points, users, and credentials for an organization or what we call a tenant. The access grants and statuses and other activities are reported based on rules you create in the software. The software management is accomplished via a web browser with dashboards you create for activity monitoring and door control. You can also create custom reports and alerts. Within the software, there are pre-configured roles, and you can create custom roles tailored to your requirements as well. We're going to have a fuller discussion of those roles in later videos. The administrator and integrator roles are necessary for completion of the activities in this video. Earlier, I said that the licenses are scalable. There are two types of licenses, standalone for single tenants and RMR for multiple tenants that you collect fees from within your business. You choose based on your requirements and business plans. Single tenant licenses are based on the quantity of access points required for a business or an organization. As their needs change, they can also be upgraded to more access points in the increments shown. Note that the three bundles for 51 and greater access points are also available with an Active Directory interface. For more information on the Active Directory interface and how it might help you, contact your sales representative or by email you can contact us at isonus.sales at allegion.com. RMR licenses are based on the number of tenants and doors that you require to meet the requirements for more than one customer. All licenses are good for one year. Now, 30 days prior to license expiration, administrators and integrators will be emailed a renewal notice. One, two, and three year extensions for each of the license types are also available. You could also use those incremental, the one year, two year, and three year extensions to initiate a system as a two year, three year, or four year system. You purchase Pure Access Cloud software from your local authorized ISONUS distributor. When ordering a Pure Access Cloud single tenant license, please provide the end user site name, end user time zone, and the installer email address on your purchase order. RMR license purchases must include the integrator email address and the integrator time zone. Once you've ordered the license, that you want, you'll be sent an email for license activation. Click on the register link in the email and it'll take you to the ISONUS website and it'll guide you through the initial registration process. Once you've submitted all of the information, look for an acknowledgement email to complete the process by, create, by creating your own password. Remember, you'll only have to create a password the first time you use your email address. After that, your password will log you into all of the license for which you, licenses for which you have permission. Because Pure Access Cloud is a su subscription-based service, renewal notices are going to be sent to all of the users who have been assigned the administrator role in the tenant. Users who are also designated as integrator in the RMR licenses will also be emailed. Let's look at the process now on my computer. I'll start by looking in my email client for a license activation email from ISONUS, and then we'll go through the process. First, we'll do it for a single tenant, and then we will do it 
for an RMR license. All right, well, I've opened my web browser and we'll go ahead and open a, one of these emails from isonos at pureaccess.com. And we'll see that, hey, thanks for choosing the latest software. So these are the instructions on how to get started. This is that register link that we mentioned. So we're going to click on that. And uh, yeah, this is our for our standalone or single tenant uh, system. So we'll click on the register button and it'll open a web browser. And uh, it should bring me to a registration window. There we go. So of course we have to put in some information. So that's the integrator profile complete. Now, um, in this case, I'm going to set myself up as being the administrator to start with. Uh, I can invite other users uh, once we figure out who is going to help us to administer the software at the client site. But so for now, I'm just going to become the uh, administrator. And this will be um, what Isonus uses to send me an email uh, for password and, and completing the registration. And then we can just click on create tenant. So it's been successful, it says I've been successful doing that. So we'll continue. And it wants to let me log in, but it's really not ready to be logged into yet. First, we need to uh, acknowledge that. And so I'm going to go back to my email client. And we're going to look for another email from Isonus. May take a moment for uh, this to come. There it is. So here's an email from my Isonus. Let's open it up. And it says, hey, um, you've um, been invited to join as an administrator in the in the site or the tenant called Pure Access Standalone Demo. So we'll just click on the accept invitation link. You, you'll notice that it's got a, um, this is the registration info that maxers, but you'll notice that it's to my email, john.downerpodalegion.com. Now I already am a, um, an Isonus Pure Access user, so um, I don't have to put in a new password. I can go ahead and register though. If, if this is the very first time you're doing this, you would have to create a password and uh, that's where you would, uh, you would go through that process here. So I'm gonna register and it says, hey, my account has been successfully accepted. So we can click here to continue to the help, to the login page. It's auto filled my password. I could I could put that in myself anyway, but we're going to go ahead and log in, and you can see I'm now in a empty site. Now we're going to do more information. We're going to do more of the programming of the software in subsequent videos. But you can see that we're already set up. You can expand this out, and so now you have descriptions next to the tools. And this is my very first dashboard. It's just a blank dashboard. It doesn't have anything in it yet, uh, but we can configure that. Now, if I were to go to the settings page, you can see I have information here that was populated by how we fill that in. And then, of course, the integrator information was also populated. All right, so we have successfully licensed our tenant and we can go ahead and log out of this right now. So we'll go up here and we'll just log out. Well, that completes the single tenant um, system or a standalone system. And now we're going to do registering a license for a RMR or multi-tenant system. So you'll see that we have, we'll go ahead and open the email. You'll see that we have a license key. 
This is the name Pure Access RMR demo. Now, remember, you have, um, I think it's really important to pay attention to the license expiration date is, um, is 324. From the time I received this email from Isonus until um, the registration window closes, I have only 48 hours. So uh, you might want to be careful to not order your tenant too early. Here's our email client and here's our email. And in this case, we're going to activate a license for an RMR system. Uh, I ordered a 25 tenant 300 door system. And so we're going to go ahead and register this license as well. So again, we're going to click on the register. It's going to bring up the um, client or bring up the web browser. And we'll, we'll have a window of information we need to put in here. It's going to start with a name. So all that information is correct on my integrator profile. Uh, we need to also create an administrator right off. So we'll, I'll be the first administrator again. And we can go ahead and create our tenant. Again, it says we're successful. So now we're going to continue the process. We'll go back looking for that confirmation email. Here it is. It says, welcome, we've been, in, we've been created as an administrator. We need to accept the invitation. It'll take us to a login page. And we can log into our site. Or our, our tenant and you'll see that uh, now I have a pure access standalone demo pure access webinar and a pure access RMR demo so this is the one we just created we'll go ahead and log in now I want you guys to remember this is a license for multiple tenants. Uh, this is not where I would put my customers' doors or their clients' doors because I want to manage them individually and they need to be able to manage them individually. This set of doors and things would be really for my use as an integrator to demonstrate what's going on in the system or maybe to have some, um, maybe even my own business. But right now, I need to get a tenant set up for my new customer that I've uh, first person I've signed up on, an, on my RMR licenses, we're going to create them as a subtenant. And to do that, we're going to go over here to the settings. Go over here to the plus key. We hover over that. And here, I'm going to create a subtenant. And this tenant name is going to be ABC Auto. They're in the same time zone as I am, so I'm not going to change that. I'm going to set myself up right now as the administrator, just to, for simplicity's sake. And we can create that. So you can see ABC Auto was uh, successfully created. We're not in ABC Auto yet, but we can choose ABC Auto as a subtenant. And you'll see that we have all of the same features and stuff. And again, we're going to deal more with this later. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys, uh, your interest in uh, Isonus Pure Access Cloud. If you require further sales support, reach out via email to at isonus.sales at allegion.com. If you need technical support, reach out to isonus.techprodsupport at allegion.com, again via email. Or you can also reach out to us via telephone at 800-581-0083. Have a great day.